Today we're going to be seeing if this property right here, this six unit apartment building, is it a cash flow beast that's going to help you accomplish your real estate goals or is it an overpriced dud? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show, folks. Today, I've got a very special show for my man, George an investor from Long Beach, California, George. You sent me this six-unit apartment building, brother. 4541 East 104th Street, Garfield Heights. Six-unit apartment building being offered at $325,000 at a 7.38 cap rate in Garfield Heights, Ohio, right? So you want to know, man, you want to know, hey, James, is this a good deal, brother? Is this a dud? What should I do? I'm looking to get started in multifamily investing in the Cleveland market, right? So let's go over what we got, right? The agent's got it on LoopNet. We got a couple photos. It's just a pretty nice six-unit building. You know, pretty typical units. They're dated, but, you know, this is kind of what you're going to get with a lot of the six-unit buildings out here. Brick building. All told, looks pretty good. Uh, there's just a map. We don't even really need that right now. All told, pretty good, right? Some investment highlights, okay? Separately metered gas and electric. That's good. Brick construction with gable roof. Yes, that's obvious. Upgraded electric service. Cool. Strong unit mix. 100% occupancy. 7.38 cap, right? 7.38 cap. That's sweet. That's sweet. If you could pick up a six-unit apartment building in an area like Garfield Heights, even though it's dated, that would be badass, dog. That would be good, man. You'd be doing good. Because Garfield Heights is a very nice area. We have a lot of properties in Garfield Heights, okay? I consider Garfield Heights to be like a B-grade neighborhood. It's quite nice, right? There's a problem. There ain't no way this sucker is a 7.38 cap, dog. It's not happening. That's fucking possible, dude. I don't know where this dude got his numbers from, but, dude, I sold over two hundred million dollars worth of this stuff. We run thousands of properties like this. You can't, you can't buy this at three and a quarter. Okay, you can't buy it at three and a quarter, and run a seven point three eight cap. It's completely impossible. Okay, as far as uh, their rent, right? They're getting forty eight thousand one hundred ninety. Okay, forty eight thousand one hundred ninety. Right, and then they're also. After they're calculating their expenses, they're showing a total NOI of 23981 23981 divided by 325 is your 73 cap, right? But there ain't no way, right? There ain't no way that you're getting that on this building. It's just completely impossible. These buildings typically trade for between two hundred and two hundred fifty thousand dollars Now... A lot of very similar buildings, exactly like this one, dated six units. We've got a ton in the portfolio. They're going to trade at the 2 to 250 price range, and many of them are going to actually trade in the city of Cleveland. Now, the city of Cleveland itself, I grade as a C, C grade uh, investment place in a lot of the locations where we have a lot of these six unit buildings. But here's the thing. The, the actual rents that you're going to receive on buildings like this in Cleveland, where we have a lot of them on the west side, and they're trading between two and 250 the rents are essentially the same. They're really not going to jump up in Garfield Heights, okay? They're, they're probably going to remain very similar. But the difference is, okay, the difference is the taxes in Garfield Heights are like 4%. Okay, the taxes in Cleveland are 2.79. So after you purchase this sucker, you're going to have to start paying 4% on $325,000, right? So more or less, a building that's going to perform just like this one, very similar rent roll, is usually worth two to 250 okay? And you could probably get a cap of around seven, like they're projecting here. So someone explained to me how this building somehow can be $75,000 more with a property tax rate that's 
not double, but it's, it's it's getting up there, right? It's just not possible. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is this is just a dud, dude. The building is nice. Sure. The building's cool. I like the building. I like the neighborhood. But you're just not going to be able to get a 7 cap on this. You're not going to be able to make the numbers work at 325 That's just ridiculously overpriced. These people would need to drop the price down $75,000 to even begin the conversation of discussing a sale. But even then... We're going to run into that tax rate. It's it, it's going to make things fairly slim, right? So my advice to you, George, is to just move on, right? This this is one of those deals where it looks like it's going to be a good deal, right? It looks like it's going to be a good deal, but in reality, it's not, right? Here's the other thing. Let's say that I did think you could make a good cash flow off of this. Let's just pretend for a second I did. I don't, but let's pretend for a second I did. If you could make... A hundred dollars of cash flow. Just picking out a number out of this guy. If you make a hundred dollars of cash flow out of that investment, that'd be fine, right? But would you buy it if I told you the one right next door to it? You could make a hundred and ten dollars for the same thing? No, no, you wouldn't, of course, right? So I guess what I'm saying is there's just so many other buildings that are trading for less. Uh, that are going to perform even better, I wouldn't even worry about it, right? You should just really focus a lot on what things are actually selling for, right? Because I know a lot of people are out of state and they see properties like, oh, I could never get a 16 apartment building for three and a quarter where I live. It must be awesome. But in reality, it's a dud, right? So what you could do, I pulled up HoltonWise.com, right? A real cheap, fast, and easy way for you guys to stay on top of the market. You click the property search for sale tab, okay? La da dee, you click that bad boy, okay? Obviously, the MLS search analysis show. You want to work with me one on one like George is doing? That's how you get to it, right? But for even cheaper, quicker data research, you guys click down here. You get my own MLS access, right? You can get seller finance deals, right? So any seller finance deals, 50 bucks. You get real-time feeds. You get apartment building feeds for all the active apartment buildings, right? But what you really want to do is come down here for 10 bucks, right? This is what you could do, George. I think this would probably make a lot of sense for you, dude. You get this real-time feed for five-plus unit apartment buildings. 10 bucks. Forever. As long as you log into this thing once every month, it does not expire. This is going to send you an email every single time that an apartment building actually closes in the Cleveland market. So if you're monitoring something like this for six months, 12 months, 18 months, right, you could see for practically free, right, it's a one-time fee of 10 bucks whenever a property trades, right? So if you see 25 six unit apartment buildings trade between two and 250. You know, oh, this one's three and a quarter. This is just a complete waste of my time. I don't need to look at this any longer, right? So that's something I'd recommend you do. It'll definitely save you some money. And that's just going to be for the Cleveland market, folks. But don't worry, everybody else out there that's like, you know, looking at other markets, right? I know there's a lot of great places to buy real estate, right? Uh, you could go ahead and click the show notes below. I got a link to PropStream. Right, because you're a Holton Wise TV viewer, you get a free seven day trial to use their services, which will essentially give you the same type of data I just showed you on the screen here in the Cleveland market. But these people, they do it nationwide, right? So their fee, uh, it's going to be a little more expensive than that. So if you're just, just worried about Cleveland, do what I just showed you. But if you're looking at a bunch of markets and you want that data, man. Click the link below, you get a free trial, and then if you want to keep going with them, you get like a 2 or 3% discount on your monthly fee because you're a viewer of Holton Wise TV. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.